as you can see, a lot has changed today. Well, someone's going to have a better way of doing this. The washing up liquid has nearly solidified. Oh, I could honestly back? kill you sometimes. <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to our boat build. Now, for those of you new to our channel, we've been doing up a 1980s narrow boat for the past seven, eight months, yeah. roughly. Um, we bought it as not even a blank canvas, it was completely gutted. Um, it'd been spray foamed, but we spent about four months of those seven fitting battens in the side. Probably would be living on it now if it wasn't for those, but anyway. Um, this week, we're hopefully gonna finish off the log burner situation. We tiled this last week waiting for it to cure, waiting on some grout additive to come so we can turn the grout pink. And then we're waiting for the chimney to come, and then finally we can put it in. The flue's been made up. And then we can have some heat on it so it's a bit more bearable. It's been fairly mild the past few days, so it's not too bad, but there are definitely becoming more and more cold mornings. Mm. And this week, we have my uncle coming to help us. Uncle Gary's coming out today. Bless very him. <laughs> He's actually a carpenter, so I very think handy. his skills might be of some use today. Yeah. And maybe later on in this week. Um, I think we're going to try and maybe start the bed frame, so then it'll be a bit yeah. more comfortable for us if once the fire's in that we can stay over here. And yeah. in order to make the stud wall for the bedroom, it's going to be a lot easier if we make the bed frame first, because always we're going to be trying to... up, yeah. yeah. So I think that's what we're going to be doing today. Hello! Gary's in the house. <laughs> Morning. 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 Well, back by popular demand. <laughs> Right, if you give me a size to make this, so what I'll do is yeah. I'll, make, I'll make the frame up first. Yeah, got you. We'll put that in, then we'll, then we'll, then we'll reassess sort it. Of the top, yeah. So I'll just need the, the width, the length, and, and how high you want it. Top of the mattress, say 800. About here, yeah. Now if we work down. Have we agreed on a mattress? No. No. We'll just make it work. Got a tea or a we, We've been working long enough so we can stop. No, but we can drink all the job. We can, that is true. I'll, no, I'll leave it a minute, I'll be weeing all day. They got a fair away, don't they? Yeah. Nothing gets done without caffeine. Morning. Whilst Uncle Gary's starting on the bed frame, I'm going to finish off the final two mushrooms. One there, one there. You get this, I've got duct tape on. So I'm going to fit those. Then we're nearly watertight. How many times have we said that through this build? <gasps> oh, um, then we and we I'm... Today, but we've got to do the, that side window. Oh, yeah. still. And then I can paint the ceiling because I was going to come over yesterday and paint the ceiling on my own. But Joe said, wait till we finish off the other mushroom vents because otherwise it was pretty pointless. One bed frame, just really? the uprights. Uprights? Is that the word? Uprights, you can call them uprights, yeah. Uprights in between. Whilst Joe, uh, whilst Gary's been doing that, Joe has finished off the fence and now we are sizing up the stainless to go on here. Yeah. Got some, let me show you. Look how beautiful our fireplace looks there, guys. <laughs> Some mirror fixings that my dad said about, which is a good idea. So you basically screw them on, put a stainless, probably do a stick four fixings, and then to cover that, a nice little nickel, I think it's nickel, what like cap goes on them. It's good. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm not sure if it's gonna work. But... Oh, scratched it. There must be another way. Like, how else do people get them out? Either a special bit or. Just what are you no... trying to get a screw? A little mirror fixing, but he's. Um... Oh, they're a pain, aren't they? Yeah. You, you need a flat edge screw on it. Yeah. I tried. We've got a flat edge bit just for the. T I might drill a bigger pilot hole. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Underestimated that one. Anyway. Yeah, as you strip the top off, wouldn't you? I've had that before. <laughs> No? I don't oh, want to round it up. Eh? I don't want to round it off. I can save the thread, put it in with this uh, grips for now, and then save the decent thread for trying to tighten up after. I know someone's going to have a better way of doing this. Am I helping holding this now? I'm not really. No. <laughs> Rest your little arms. <laughs> oh. It's lovely, isn't it? Aww. You put a puppy in there, couldn't you? Yeah, your little dog cage. Uh, it's on there. Yeah, I got two done. Yeah, that's why I made a couple, made a couple of scratches, but rustic. I had to be fair, I every sort of get. Yeah, you do best to keep the floor clean. Oh, Christ, yeah. Over time, it doesn't matter. Got a bit of box. You don't get the glue in yet, probably be scratched as anything. Yeah. And it's part of the story of the yeah. product, isn't it? I was just I was get really anal about <laughs> marking anything. I don't bother about it now. It's Getting on alright? Yeah, last one. I'm not using these again. <laughs> no, they're a pain in the ass. We're steaming on ahead. What are we doing? Oh, it's all go, isn't it? This is the new wall going up. This is where it's going to go. Doors in the middle with the fancy top. Woo! Um, fantastic. See the shape. A bit of the easier to see the shape of the boat there. See the shape of the bathroom. You can see the shape of your your bedroom, your cupboard space. Oh! It's just uber exciting. a lot has changed today it's really hard to film when you're just getting carried away with it but so we have a bed frame it's not um, fixed to the floor yet because I think Joe wants to figure out some of the water pipes and stuff and finish off that because that will be the next thing and also the stud walls so we have gone with the design that we said in the last video or a couple of videos before um, about having the walkway here it definitely just makes the most of the space having the toilet here in the in the bath there next time gary comes hopefully this week again if all is well and then we're going to make the other stud wall and have um the door on this side but it, it just it's surprising it just looks so much bigger than i thought or we both thought and yeah just really great progress to make it's very exciting what do you think thank you gary really happy with it. it's the sort of thing like this that i would spend so much time just messing about trying to figure out where it goes and gary just, just cracks on does with it, it. <laughs> sturdy and then we're gonna put another piece in here and then put the plywood up and then that's pretty much the bedroom done and like now these are up and then we've only got one more stud on the other side of the bathroom we can finish off the edge of this so we can have the wood we just didn't want to start putting it up and then we have to cut it because the stud or it was just missing it by a couple of inches so yeah it should come together quite quickly now we've got quite a big walkway. I mean, you can't really tell at the moment because of the ply being there, but it is quite a big space. Um, it might look a bit different when the mattress and stuff is on there, but yeah, quite a lot. And then got sort of the dressing room, like I said, about having the wardrobe or something up to there. So you've got like room to move and stuff. So yeah, really, really happy. Good morning, friends. Good morning. Now, since we last left you, Uncle Gary's been back. We've got another stud wall. He was bit of a whirlwind in and out a couple of hours and it was up before we even had a chance to get the camera out so next on the list now that that is the only walls to go up so i can figure out cables and pipes and stuff to go in there such a really nice size because we've gone for the, like the full size rather than a walkway through you gain this much space of the bathroom i mean it's a little bit a little bit more awkward that you've got to walk through the bathroom to get to the bedroom but it's only us two living on here so works for us framed it up really nicely yeah 
Love it. I'm excited for the pie to go up. But first, it is absolutely freezing over here. So we're going to put the grout on. I have now got my powder pigment of bright pink. So we're going to go with that. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to put in, but we'll roll with it. Um, and yeah, once the once that's dry, we've then got to screw in the fireplace. Is that right? Yeah. You need to put a couple of screws through the stove into the tiles underneath, which is going to be fun. I've got a tile bit for that. Can you touch that and then I'll pick the other one? Got some fire blankets and stuff around oh. up there. The external chimney and chimney liner and cowl have arrived as well. We had them powder coated in the green that we're painting the boat eventually. Oh. Then we're almost there. Oh. You alright with that? Yeah. I just need to finish off getting some of these bits of so wet. Off. Huh? Wet. Condensate it, but cold. Oh that helped clean a little. You alright with that? Yeah. I'm going to try and pull a cable through for the light switch. So, now we're going to start grouting. We're not 100% sure on how much to use of this, but we're just going to wing it because if we open this, we're going to have to use it so it'll dry up. We were, as you can see here, we were <clears throat> thinking of making a marble like sort of border. Bit of an upstand because we need a lip <coughs> yeah. at the front. But I really wanted pink marble and we went to this place today and because everyone's boring now all their kitchens are white and black and stuff that's sort of the only marble they do and it was going to be about 250 pounds and it's just not quite what we're after and that's quite a lot of money so I think we're going to just mask it up for now and then figure out a border and just try and make it so it like looks okay because otherwise maybe we'll put wood or something on it but you don't necessarily want to be grouting or trying to wipe it off of that because I'll just ruin it. Is that fair? Yeah. We're going to try and be fairly accurate, so in case we need to make more grout up in the future, we know how much powder we've used. I don't know how this is going to go, but I've got this piece for free out of the skiff at the Marvel and Granite place, and it's just going to clash with a bright pink grout, so... so these no. scales don't work. The other ones I was going to bring that Mum let us have work. We don't check them. Ow, ow, ow. Well, there goes being accurate. Oh, sorry. Can't we just, <laughs> I can honestly back? kill you sometimes. <laughs> have you got any batteries? Huh? Have you got any batteries over there? I reckon I have. I can't really bother to get them. Go on. They're all the way in the van. What well, do you have got the battery? Oh, it's powder. What does that mean? We need water. Well, we've got water, but I just, I just assumed it's pre-mixed. Oh, so that means we could actually be accurate. Um, but the problem is you've got more variance with the amount of water you put in as well. Yeah, but not if you keep measuring it. I thought that was ready mixed. Is that easier or not? Well, I was just hoping it's ready mixed, so, so I can't really be bothered to mix it up to the right. I don't know what the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never but also, I don't know what the right makes it easier for is. the pink. To mix in with the pink, yeah. yeah. Coverage. It'll do two square metres per kilo. Can you... I can't even see, can't even see what I'm doing, can you? There we go. Try open the pink. Yeah, just do it not on the wood floor. Just do it not on the wood floor. Oh, oh my, my god. god, what is wrong with you? You it's just bloody spoon! Huh? I can oh, see a screen. <laughs> Use the spoon, you melon, you got it out. Yeah, not only for mixing. What, you want me to do in another 500 grams? It's I don't know. You have to do 750 then. No, but I meant by spoon. I, I wouldn't normally use a spoon to do this. And then once we've mixed the pigment in. What do we want? This powder to be pink? Yeah. So we want quite a bit. That's about a kilo there. I don't want to open that. I don't think you would. It feels like it's right up to the top. It is. Mm. You're all... I, don't, I wouldn't put it all in to begin with. No. Could just... we take a bit of the powder out that we've got 
and then put a bit of water with it just to see what colour it comes up like. Should I put more in or not? Does your dad say dry lighter or darker? It dries lighter as the water evaporates. Yeah. He's going now, look. You know, quite a... Yeah, but it's, look at the colour it's meant to be. What? Silly, you haven't got gloves on. I want to do it. Oh, I don't want that to stain your hands. That's alright. Go slowly, so I'm just going to erupt it over. Keep some of this in case you need to do any repairs. Let me try a bit with water, for argument's sake. I'm glad we got hot pink because then it makes otherwise yeah. that would have just been like water, wouldn't it? Good right to keep on it, patching up. Right. How much water just to make it to the right consistency? The right consistency now, yeah. What consistency is the right consistency? Well, just so that it spreads in nice but not too runny. Ready? You sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me the laptop. 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 <laughs> Might need a little bit more water, but I don't want to make it too things we're doing on the wall, won't we? Yeah. Ready? I think so. Pack it in quite nice and then I don't know if it needs any more water, but That's the grouting done. Thanks, done a very good job. First time ever grouting. Not bad at all. I'm I, really happy with it. I helped on the edges a little bit, but I don't particularly know what I'm doing either. So we're gonna let this dry a little bit more and then give it a clean off, and we'll be back tomorrow. Good morning. Final day over here this week, and the main task is gonna be the log burner. We actually tried to wrap this video up a couple of days ago, but I lost the tile bit to secure the burner down. So I've got to drill two holes. I've got another one of those now and I've got plenty of fire cement and it's going to get done today, whether it kills me. Quick temperature check for you. I haven't got a thermometer, but for example, the washing up liquid has nearly solidified and the butane tends to give up Hence why we're having propane tanks on here rather than butane. Hopefully I can get a coffee out of it. Danny's just got back from a night shift, so she's staying at home, sleeping in the warm, and she's gonna come join me later on. I'd love to get that fitted before she gets over here. I've got a new drill as well. I burnt the last one out. Drilling two inch holes through six mil steel.
Right, so the burner's in this position, there or thereabouts. I've got to get some bigger bolts to bolt it to the hearth. Now I've got to force some fire rope. Well, I'll put this up, some fire rope to stop this touching this. But before I do that, I've actually bought some fire blanket as an extra precaution. Oh, it feels and sounds horrible. Danny really doesn't like it, which I'm just going to pack around up in here just in case. I'm going to do that, then that. I need to cut a little bit off the flue because it's a little bit too long. Sorry I lost you there, I was wrestling with the flu, but it is as good as in. I need a bit more fire rope to poke down from the top, and then I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna cack sort off now, rig the chimney up, which I haven't shown you yet. That's what I'll show you now. I'm not gonna say I was sold by the name alone, because it's called Smokey Joe's. There's a chap that makes them. I'll put a link in the description. Lovely chimney, bird cowl, and I got rain cap up on the roof. Right, I'm gonna get a hacksaw, so I can't wait to light this. Need a bit more fire cement in there as well. Can't seem to find my hacksaw, so Danny's gonna bring one from home. But for now, I'm gonna put the chimney on. Not sure if that's quite right, but it'll do for now. Now for the first burn. Nice gentle little fire to start with. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Danny has actually got another night shift tonight that I didn't realise, so she's not going to come over today. She's seen a photo of the fire going, she's really excited. Um, so next week I'll be finishing that off completely. Got a bit more trimming to do. Um, probably start on electricals as well, a bit more, so we can hopefully get the diesel heater in. Well, as, as you know, there's lots to do. Um, so thank you everyone who takes the time to leave a comment, and a special thank you to everyone who signed up to our Patreon already. We'll see you next week. Beard. Might not be on. Hello, Uncle Gary. Is that you? I was just pointing the camera very closely. Not very closely, but zoomed in on someone random. T shirts double, my name on the bottom. Oh, yeah, Danny, Joe, and Gary. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Gary, sometimes. Gary, sometimes. <laughs>